Welcome guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually save a view once image on WhatsApp. Now, um, what a view once image is, is actually images that the person sent to you and you can only see that image once. So I don't know if I have image on my device, but let me go ahead and show you guys how it actually works. Now, um, from this device, I'm going to send a message to myself. Um, when I say myself, I mean the other WhatsApp number. So this is the WhatsApp number right there. So um, now I am going to send even more message and I'm going to include image right now. So this is the logo, TS Tech Talk logo. I just sent it to myself. Now, usually if you download the image, you'll be able to see the image. You have it, you can reshare it, you check your gallery, you'll find it there. But now, um, let me go ahead and delete it. But now, how about when the person uses a unique feature? Let me use this to actually separate so that you guys will understand. So how about when I use this particular feature from WhatsApp? So now this is the image. Okay, before I do that, let me go ahead and also delete this image for myself. So I just deleted the image so it won't confuse you. Now let me send the Im another image. Now I just selected the image and then if you want to use um, a view once option, you notice just where it says add caption, right? Click on that and you notice it says um, photo set view once. Now if you click on send, this image is going to be sent and you notice the way it displays on this my device, it actually says photo. It doesn't actually show you the image in preview. But then on this other device that I sent it to, when I click on it, I'll be able to download it and then view the image. Now this is the image, right? And I can only view this image once. So to everybody that already know that I can view this image once, if you click on the icon, you can notice this is a view once photo. So it's more private. It will disappear from the chart after you close it. So now if you notice this is actually going to disappear the first thing that will come to your mind to do is to screenshot but now if you click on the screenshot shortcut you are no longer going to be able to actually screenshot and even on this my device it's going to be black screen because we are actually on view one section now all you need to do um, you also cannot video you cannot even use the shortcuts to take a screenshot So all you need to actually do is a different things. So let me just go ahead and close that You notice the image has been deleted. So it says open So if you try to click on it again, you no longer have access to that particular image But then to actually be able to see this image there is actually something you need to do now you need to actually download this particular application called um, virtual mobile so virtual mobile actually allows you to create another mobile on your mobile phone. Now that might look complicated, but it's actually very easy. So the first thing you need to do is actually to go to Android Play Store and download virtual mobile. So let me go to Android Play Store. I already have it on this device, but let me still download it on this device so that you guys won't get confused. So it's called um, virtual Android not necessary to add android anyway just it's actually a virtual mobile so virtual android app when you click on it you're going to see so many of them but i prefer making use of this particular one so all you need to do is to click on install and then the installation will start this might actually take some time to install or to download rather because this file is actually very big so once you finish downloading we'll resume you can see the size of the file is actually 500 megabyte so i'm going to pause this recording and i'm going to wait for it to completely download so let's wait for that all right guys so the installation is complete and there you go you can see our application right there just click on open it's going to open the vmware you can read the um the policy and the privacy ag agreements and you can click on accept if you don't click on accept there is no way it's going to work now guys once you open it for the first time it's going to display like this just like it's doing on the other device now um you do not actually need to have it on both device you only need to have it on the device on your own device so um the first thing you need to do is to click on create now um to create a vmware or to create an android version clone on your device you can actually click on this android um, version or you download the android version you prefer that is displaying right here but then i think i'm okay with this 
but you can actually choose this if you want but actually this says coming soon so it's not currently available and the android 9 you can also download that but i think i'm actually okay with this so i'm going to click on that and click next so i'm going to leave the default resolution and i'm going to click on next and you can call it whatever name you want to call it so i'm just going to click on complete now it has actually created um the android version that i want now the next thing for me to do is to start installing application or start adding application or probably importing application now you can click on start vmware it's going to start your vmware by loading this way now um the other person is still on their device um, with, um, sending you a message or trying to send you a message. Now, quick information, guys. If you are using this particular application, this is actually what you need to do before you open the view once message. Because if you do not have this on your device and then the view once message came in, there is no way you are going to be able to. So let's say the view once message came in. All you need to do is not to open it. So do not open the message download this particular application have it installed this way and now the next thing you need to actually do is to um add the application so to add the application you notice these are all the application existing right now to add the application click on where it says add apps so when you click on that you actually have the privilege to import apps that are already existing on your device these are all the apps i have on my android device so i'm going to go ahead and click on import on the whatsapp area well, I think I missed WhatsApp. So let me just go ahead and search for it because um, if I'm scrolling, it's going to take too long. So this is the WhatsApp application. Just click on import and it's going to start importing. Guys, a disclaimer before we continue this video. This particular application hangs once in a while. So do not be surprised when you see it hanging. It actually happens. It's very common. So I do not know exactly why. Probably um, if you encounter this, please do report to them so that they will be able to actually fix this. But uh, let me just say that um, this happens very frequently. So click on the uh, WhatsApp application and it's going to open. So just click on next, um, agree. Since you imported it, it's actually going to allow you to um, scan that WhatsApp on your primary phone. So you have to click on link device and tap link device, then you point your phone to the screen to capture the code now that is actually going to be an issue because whenever i do this i actually do this with an external device but now let me see if this is going to actually work all right guys so what i did um i just entered my phone number right here and now i have my phone number without um my main account so um right now that is what i'm going to be using for a while so i'm going to be using this as my main whatsapp while the other one is no longer available so i actually try to link the device but it turns out that if i'm linking the device i will need another device so i'm making this particular tutorial um in the mind that the person that might be interested in this only has one phone so let me continue sending myself the message so this is going to be a new message and this is it right there now I'm going to go ahead and enter in the information and enter in the um, the disappearing message. So now this is the disappearing message. So set photo once and I'm going to send it. So I just sent that photo and this is the photo downloading and I just opened it. And it says um, this is a view once message. Do not mind. Click OK. So now um, just so you know, all you need to do got it all you need to do is to take a screenshot like this oh come on just take a screenshot and for some reason my all right so i just took the screenshot and you notice this is a screenshot right there i can always uh crop it out just like so and save and i have the image saved so even though the image disappeared I will always find it in my gallery, just saw this gallery, the main phone gallery, because I actually took the screenshots with the main phone. So what actually happened right there is that the main phone actually override the, um, the, 
this particular application that we used so we are not seeing the main application which is actually a vmware and you can always move the vmware icon upward so that you do not see it now um let me go back to the whatsapp so the message still disappeared anyway that's not a problem let me send the message once more or send a different image let me see do i have more images on this device yes i do so i just did um a height message just a view once message and send it and it's going to open just in case you guys are actually doubting what happened or oh, wasn't very sure so i'm sending the message once more now the message is sent click on the photo allow you to download view this is the image click on the image and you can still notice that we will not be able to save up this image it doesn't have the option to save so we can always take a screenshot and then if it's actually a video you can always um, be able to record the screen now let me show you okay i already have a screen recorder active so i will not be able to record that screen but anyway you can always record the screen if it's actually a video that is a view once i don't think um let me see if videos are actually available on view once okay yes videos are also available on view once but then um it's still going to be able you are still going to be able to save this image by um saving them up and whenever you want to bring up your phone screen you can always click um either you click on the vm icon and then you go to phone or you just switch to vm whichever one you want they are all here whenever you click on this vm icon switch to phone you go to the phone but i'm actually very used to making use of my menu that's the reason why i keep navigating with my menu so anytime you want you can always navigate with your menu go back there this is our whatsapp this is what i've been using so far so you can use it to communicate and um you, to communicate with them frequently whenever you want and it's going to go as smooth as it is so guys i don't think you should have any issue using this application and even though you have it as your main whatsapp it's not going to have any issue but the only thing is that once in a while this particular application just shows a crash error but um i have been making this video today and there is no crash error it actually shows frequent crash error on the other phone but for some reason it's not doing that on this case so guys do let me know if this video is worth it or if these steps are worth it because a lot of people have been asking this question and i am grateful that i'm being able to actually make this video with you guys and if you guys really appreciate um i really support and need um I really need your support in getting a membership or wanting you to join my membership in order to support my channel to grow more and if you can't that's okay so see you guys on my next video um peace